2020 has been fucking dreadful. Pretty much all of us are keen to say see ya to this year and plan ahead for a much better 2021. But most people end up falling into the 80% of people who set New Year's resolutions yet fail to stick to them by February. And this will leave us feeling even more awful about our lack of discipline, focus and success. So in this video, I'll explain the only resolution that you should be setting in 2021. You see, as each year comes to a close, most of us end up getting goal shamed, you know, indirectly being told by motivational gurus that if we don't have lofty, ambitious, huge goals, then we suck. See, now that's some bullshit. But unfortunately, a lot of us buy into this and we end up setting arbitrary goals that have just been predefined by what culture deems to be successful or something you should look to obtain. Getting a six pack is a classic one for guys, but deep down we don't mind our slight paunches. And so those daily crunches end up going back to daily crunchies. Or we end up just setting completely unrealistic goals in relation to our actual starting point. So going from unemployed to earning six figures in three months. In any other year, failing to stick to these lofty goals would at best make us feel a bit crap about ourselves, but only for a short period of time. But going into 2021, this has the potential to be even worse because a lot of people have had arguably the worst year of their lives in 2020. Many of us have hit rock bottom for whatever reason because of stresses related to employment, our relationships, and having so many aspects of our life pretty much put on hold. And the problem with setting ridiculously ambitious goals is that when you fail to reach them, when you're already at rock bottom, it's a kick to the ribs that leaves you feeling utterly broken. So instead, what should you do? Well, I'm going to be setting and also encouraging a lot of other people to be setting little less goals. Now, essentially what these are are just identifying some of those crap feelings that you felt this year and planning out how can you feel a little less of them next year. So your goal could be to feel a little less lonely in 2021. And you could achieve this by scheduling in a call with a different friend once a week at the same time on the same day. Or you might want to feel a little less tired. So your plan is to stick to a stricter bedtime of 11 p.m. and wake up at 7 a.m. Look, these aren't sexy and glamorous, but these are the types of goals you should be setting if you've had a particularly hard 2020. Think of them as an outstretched hand to get you back on your feet. And after a few months of getting back on your feet, then yeah, it's then time to set some more lofty or ambitious goals. It's like running. You're not going to run a marathon right away. You've got to build up your mileage with shorter runs to begin with. And when you look closely, I think most of us actually set New Year's resolutions and goals in the first place because we're not actually trying to reach something positive. We're actually trying to eliminate something negative. There is some sort of painful feeling that you want to get rid of but instead we package it as this awesome feeling that we want in our lives. So just be honest with yourself and be specific. What is it that you really want to feel a little less of next year and use that as a basis to set some little less goals. And feel free to share in the comments below what is it that you're looking to feel a little less of next year and I'll offer some advice on how to shape that into a really good little less goal. And thanks ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.